a good um, a good stage for that's definitely the, the mango stage. So mango just comes raw out with the drill. So at least it comes out with a drill because if it lands, you can like convert off it at zero. Shields though, interesting. Catches with a raw of smash. So S has actually had this problem a lot. Um, he's just not converting well off his tech chases. This set, he's just like he's just like missing them. Mango a little late there. So not too strong of a start, but so both of them get decent openings. Mango's a little late with his. Looks like he missed his dash. So yeah, it's that, and that's actually the, one of the easier techs to cover is a tech back. Doesn't get the nair. Catches uh, so catches Mango overextending. Again, catches Mango with a back air. Mm. I do think that S Fat knows how to edge guard Mango just from playing him so much. He seems like he knows what he likes to do. This actually was a bad. That actually was a bad shine spike. Mango even teched it. Disrespected him, but he could actually try to come back. Actually, let um. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't get to say it. I was gonna say S Fat's ledge game on Yoshi Story is pretty good because he's he's pretty comfortable wave landing here, and he fucking killed himself. Sing for us more. <laughs> I'm All right, so I'm so glad I didn't say it. I'm so glad I didn't say it. So that sucks. He was only at fifty percent, so that was a good lead. Again, I think that's a danger. This is a danger of zero percent aerials. Um, Mango hits him, but then gets shined first. So zero percent aerials are just rough. Um, they're not like with especially like with with Fox. You kind of want to just stick to the drills and the and the shines and the grabs. Okay, so this is good stuff. Let's see what he did. So those are the down tilt. The thing about the down tilt, um, I think it's like a 10 frame startup. So if you, let's say, actually, no, that's not what I want to talk about. So he gets the down tilt, off front up air here, so he doesn't get anything, but still, he catches Mango running away, which is pretty good. So down tilt, down tilt crouch, up air, catches Mango dashing away, hits him before he gets his back air out, it looked like. And then re-grab back here. Okay, cool. So good mile, good mileage. Ooh, that was a sexy tilt. Okay, cool. So again, S Fat's actually been kind of fucking Mango up. Um, if you think about it, like he was up fifty percent, and then he killed himself, and this time he's up twenty four percent. So this really good so far. Really, really good so far. Makes good use of its. Oh, doesn't make the best use of its invincibility. So this is actually a pretty big turning point because Mango fucks up, but um, I respect it. I respect it. That was, that was, I think that ends up being, I wonder what happens after this, though. Okay. So still, still able to make, so SF's building these really good leads and then losing them right away. Um, catches Mango, uh, SF coming down. Misses the Armada Shine, but, uh, you know, then SF misses the back air. Crash cancel interaction. I just want to see one of those. There was like a forward smash interaction. Back air. Or, Cow smash. So both some crash cancel interactions. Oh yeah. Okay, so again, Mass Fat not able to do much with the lead that he's gained. Even though he's building pretty good leads, like strong leads. Um not able to do much. Nair failed. So not um So I understand this because um they're both not that great on the ledge. Like they're okay. Uh, Mango's not they're not particularly great. That's that. Like, they're both, like, I think the platforms are better for them because they're not the best ledge dashers. So you can probably crowd the space a little bit more than you can with other, like, there's, like, hacks or left and catches Mango coming in. Oh, yeah. So try to, so you try to crouch there. You try to crouch there. That's what I did. But Mango got his shine off first. I actually don't know why that happens sometimes. If you try to crouch. Looks like he was swimming. I don't know. I actually want to see it again. I want to see why the interaction didn't work. Because that's that definitely saw that coming. Turn around, jab. I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh, I don't think he got into his crouch early enough. So he fucking turned around. Nice down tilt. Down smash. Oh. Tried to crouch it. Tried to crouch it and shine it. But, um. Like he tried to wave down to the ledge. Oh, another. So these are. That's uh, had some good crouches this set. Like a nice crouch, nice crouch down tilt. Yeah. Probably worried about the mangle. See, like they're both like 
he goes to the like they both I think they both would rather go on a platform than try to let Dash. So I think and I think S Fat's aware of that. Because he's just putting out a back air wall. Um so I respect that. Cause he's making Mango like he's like you gotta make Mango do the thing that makes someone comfortable like, make someone comfortable. So that's a good back air wall. Up till up till so let's see if S Fat can do anything with this lead. Mm, that's an awful up smash. It's actually awful. Just awful. There's just, just, there's just, there's too much space for him to go for something like that. Nice up smash. So again, SAT just not doing a lot with the leads. He's just losing them right away. Um, yeah, he's just losing them. And no one really put any strings together, but Mango just won more interactions. So a lot of straight hits there, right? Just straight hit, straight hit, straight hit. No combo strings, but Mango won more interactions and was able to build enough percent to win. Grab, yeah. Try to catch him grab. So if it goes how it's been going, Mango's uh, SF's going to win. Because he's just been, you know, winning this first couple styles. Catches Mango trying to grab. Nice. Ooh. So Mango, uh, a lot of SS drills have been bad. So I think it's good that Mango finally caught one, especially the full hot ones. He's been, they've been really bad. Again, catching Mango, I think trying to grab here. I think he's just catching him trying to grab, and he keeps getting shine for it. Yeah, dash in. So he just keeps losing. Oh, the dash attack's so bad. That was such a bad dash attack. Yeah, he had plenty of time to get his shield up. I think it's like, that's really good if you can catch somebody in dash. And maybe that's what he thought he'd be able to get Mango. Catching him in dash. You know, I actually been I actually meant to talk about this. Um, I'm just not sure. I'm not even sure if this is like... No, I actually think with the Shy Guys there, that might have been the best punish. I was going to say, I'm not sure about that. I actually didn't talk about the punishes enough. I actually don't like some of the things they were going for. Uh, oh, oh, that's fucking, that sucks. So Mango kind of threw that away. Mango actually threw that away a little bit. So catches him with the back air. And s fat it really badly, I think. Let's see where he went. Yeah, he caught him at dash, so he got it really badly. You could tell because he had to burn a jump to get level with the stage. So he really got that badly. So which means, and since he had to burn a jump, um, this made it easier from the edge guard. And then he gets a weak hit here, and then that's just unfortunate. So even though I'd say it's a game that Sat mostly outplayed, Mango had definitely had a shot to win it at the end. He kind of just dropped it. Oh, I can see. <laughs> oh, it says the stream's up. Is the stream not up for you guys? <sighs> oh, stream is fine. All right, cool. All right, cool. Well, sorry that you, I'm sorry for the guys who do have black screen. What's up, yo? Spanish commentary. So really bad di, and then I guess the, I mean obviously Mango could have just played it safer, right? That's easy to say, but I mean that's a very Mango move. It just didn't work this time. <laughs> Sometimes it's just how it is. You know, you do your thing and you just miss. So it looks like they both di these drills pretty good. No. Actually, Mango di that drill really well. That set does a stupid ass up smash. In neutral. I don't know why he's doing that. Uh, yeah. Catches Mango coming in, and that should do it. Oh, fuck. That's an easy kill. That's an easy kill. I remember. Uh, yeah, this is an easy kill. Just, yeah, he spot dodges. Maybe he fucked up a way dash trying to do the input too quickly. 
because then he has to back up enough smash. So it would have been an easy kill. Turns into a, a punish, which sucks. Oh, that actually sucks. That was that was actually okay. So that worked out for Mango. But that was a shitty reversal. So that's like a the, like a really shitty reversal. It's like Mango's S hat's in the corner. Mango picks the wrong choice. Like overextends. S hat gets to jump over and get a back air. So that sucks. Luckily. Uh, SS not able to, like, he gets hit by that, though. He's still able to get the stock, but that would have been a shitty reversal for him. So a stock that Mango should have really won cleanly, um, because he should have just got that shine spike, ends up being hard, hard fought for. Yeah, that's that board air wasn't good. Oh, uh, really? I think the Nair, the Nair knocks down at, like, 30-something, high 30s. Maybe even mid thirties. So that would have been really good. Um, this would be a that would be a really good nair at a little bit of a later percent, because then he it'd be a tech chase situation. But then since it's not a so because it's not a tech chase because it doesn't um because it doesn't knock down at this percent, uh, SSAT has time to respond. So if that had been like thirty five, then that would have been good. SSAT wouldn't have been able to get shine. It would have been a tech chase. So just not the right time to do the nair, though it's not a bad idea. Mm, yeah, that's that gets his fucking dash stack in, and that was good. Yeah, I hate this. I hate the shine after this. Though every fox does it, myself included. But I hate this shine because after you get this hit, there's no need to shine. Um, he's already like he's you like you just you you already hit him off the stage, and you know he's gonna get knocked away. Um, that would be really good if, like, the shine's necessary if they're at, like, 20%, you know, before that knockdown percent. But then you just end up wasting time. Just grab the ledge. I think the shine would be, just shine them. I don't know, make it easier on yourself. But let's see what Mango's able to do. If he converts to edge guard. Yeah. Oh, backs up a little too far. Back air. Just backs up a little too far. Yeah, yeah. What did he do? He did the double laser, and then what did he do? Laser, laser, laser. Just moved a little, yeah. I just I don't know what they're looking. Okay, yeah. Mhm. Mm there you go. Just a fucking regular shine spike. Nice, nice. Just a regular ass shine spike. Way to go, Mango. Catch him before he gets the cloud. That's clutch. Let's see. Uh huh. Drill to drill. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> so I decided to di that really badly, <laughs> as you can see, because the shine killed him. So just di that really badly. Ooh, that's what you want if you're if you're at so here's like I said so if you're at zero this is exactly what you want and if you're if you're um you're not if you're not coming down this is like the worst case so this is the best for S at worst for Mango is you don't want someone to get their you know to grab you like pretty much out of their visibility straight up especially a grab because that could be a really hard punish uh, back air ooh. so just overextends so. I think after you miss the up air here, you have to know that you're late. I think you just have to identify that you're late here, um, and that you're like at a disadvantage. Yeah, you just have to identify that you're not gonna be you're not in time. <laughs> and S I D as it shines really hard, bad. Oh, wait, let me see. I want to read the chat real quick. Uh, uh. You guys, hey, Cram, do you know him? Do you know this 801 Logos guy? So let's get rid of him. If he's your boy, though, then it's Joe. All right, cool. That sounded like you did. All right, cool.
<laughs> Definitely not my boy, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So, um, this is something you just have to get the habit out of habit of doing is the jab there. Um, but a lot of foxes do it. Uh, but you just if you do that jab, then you miss the tech check situation if they do um, if they do tech. So you just have to break that habit. Thanks for follow. Uh, that's not a good drill. So actually. This is something that Mango talked to me about um, when he talked about Fox's Punish game. And he said this to me in like 09, 2010. Uh, he talked about how Fox's just up smash immediately after a grab and how it's not actually that good. Um, but they've both been doing it a lot. Um, the punishes actually haven't been that sharp that set, though it hasn't really been a nice focus. But um, just like, they actually, you just don't get much mileage off of this. Though I don't even know, I mean, like, you can grab, like, you can go into a chain grab or something. But I guess he's already at the corner anyway. But, um,. Both of them haven't really been. I guess I have to find a better example, but thanks for follow. Yeah, there we go. See, there we go. There we go. That was good. That was good. But I like that. I like that in there a lot. So now it's better. Hmm. So Mango. Okay. So okay. Then now I was about to compliment him on his nares, and then he just started doing bad ones. But the first couple were pretty good. So like, I feel like that was all right. That was good in air spacing. Now he's just nearing for no reason. Catches him with the drill. Like, so, yeah. so this is a good, this is, I think, the best example of how S Fat just knows how Mango wants to recover. I think this is the best example. Um, I think this really showed right here. Um, most players are going to go to the ledge right here. But S Fat knows that Mango's not going to, like, I feel like this is just, a, I know how you like to recover edge guard with a nice back air here, back air. And just like, especially this one too, just knowing that he wasn't gonna like. I think that's just beautiful edge guarding by S Fat. But I think that's a lot of that. I've played you enough to know what you like to do. And S Fat Mango gets him right back, <laughs> and then shields the laser clutch, clutch, clutch shield. Um, oh no! Oh no! S Fat the goat right now. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, guys. Internet. Buffer boys. Let's see. All right, cool. Drill. So again, the jab. Okay. I. Uh, I wonder if he just. I wonder why he just didn't go for. Uh, maybe that's a hard one to cover. So I don't know if he did that up smash because that grab's hard to get. But they're both the same amount of frames. So if you can't get the up smash, you probably can't get the grab. Um, so I don't know. Maybe just let him land and then go for. I'm not sure about the percents there. I think you can get a re-grab there, which I would have preferred. Um, just go into your train grab. You got a grab at zero, so just go into your train grab. But up smashes and loses it. Again, the jab. Uh, so both two two bad grab interactions from both of them. Mango definitely aware of the crouch. You can see like the way he nares. He tries to like get the tip of it, so like he doesn't get crouch canceled. All right, cool. So let's see. Let's see. All right. So both of them just aren't converting very well. Um, up till re grab. This is his dash there. I hate the kind of sloppy shine up tilt up tilt. I hate the fucking double up tilt. That's pretty good by Mango. Up air, okay. Up air. Oh, that would have been dope. See, S Fat seems like he's pretty good off the ledge when he can do a up smash after. Like he just that motion seems more comfortable for him. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right. Up till back air. I think a soft back air would have been better. I would have, like, if he tried to, like, try to get, like, a soft hit, in, and then maybe he could have got, like, an up smash. Um, but he goes for a hard hit, so he loses it. Oh, yeah, catches him with the nair. The nair is really good. The nair, I mean, the, the nair plane is, like, fine now because they're both at such high percent that, like, so you just have to, he just catches them in dash, rolls, both of them. Mango just doing extra, extra moves after he hits them. Shine, Nair, yeah, okay, cool. Um, back air, nice by him. Oh, what would have been the better choice? I guess he'd grab the ledge, or down smash, I guess. Ooh, that was fucking gorgeous. So I guess it would have hit, he just lost interaction. 
So a reversal situation. If, if Mango's S smash hits, he gets the kill, but S fat does instead. So let's see if Mango can bring it right back. It looked like S fat tried to crouch, which I don't know why. All right, up to okay, cool. So Mango brings it right back, so no big deal. No big deal. A couple lasers. Oh, catches Mango coming in. Okay, cool. So let's see if Mango uh S fat can get any mileage. This is pretty good DI. This is pretty good DI. 48. I think, I think, I'm not 100% positive. I think you have to wave dash back up tilt. I think. I'm not 100% positive. I think that's what Ice would do. Um, but I, when I saw Ice do it, it was on Falco, I think. No, I think it was on Fox. Was it Fox or Falco? No, I think it was Falco. Um, I think you can wave dash back up tilt. Um, because this is pretty solid DI. Um, and the up tilt... He maybe he could just maybe he could just up tilt. Maybe he could have just up tilted straight up. Maybe up tilt. So he might be like a couple percent off from doing the wave dash back up tilt. So maybe this is an up tilt, but it looked like he might have been a little too far for the up tilt. So maybe the wave dash back up tilt. But this is a pretty good DI. Like that's a pretty tough spot to cover. Um, you can't do the yeah, and he does the wrong choice anyway. So that was good DI by Mango. Oh, I think I went too fast. Oh no, that game is just that fast. Okay, down tilt. Down smash. Double down smash. Oh, nice fade back. So, s -Tack created a good situation here, but he wasn't ready for the punish. So, like, he actually got, you know, like, it's like you do a fading, like, you, he, like, literally tried to, like, I feel like he tried to bait that scenario, and he got it, but he wasn't ready to punish him. So, he actually gets punished for it. Which is the unfortunate thing, if, like, you bait something out, and then you're not ready for the punish, you just, like, then he loses the interaction right after. Okay, cool. Oh, damn, Mango. That was fucking creative. That was fucking creative shit. All right, so he does, like, a faces forward, does a drill. That was actually really good. That was fucking genius. Mango always surprising us. That was a fucking... I'm gonna steal that drill. That drill was crazy. That was a fucking amazing drill. Drill, boys. Mango fucking dancing around someone that's invincible. Not really. S had to stand still and dash tax him. All right, so... Doesn't make any... Doesn't even get any extra credit. So, fresh start. Okay. So, here's the thing. It's exactly what Mango told me not to do, like, back on, like, in 2009. Mango still does it. Um, I don't think it's... So, like, you just... You only get 25% off of up throw. Um, so, he just, like, gets no mileage. It's just so few mileage. Um, I think he could just got... He could have converted off this, though. Because SI didn't DI particularly that well. Actually, no, SI did DI it well. Um... So I guess he could still convert off it. I just don't like it. It's just, I feel like you can get much better mileage. But even if he... If, I guess it doesn't really matter. Because he could have got this conversion. He could have got another up smash. He could have up smashed and then... This did that with a, like a cheap interaction though. 25% just isn't that much in this ditto. Oh yeah. Up to, oh, got to re-grab at that percent. That's crazy. Up to, re-grab, wow. Yeah, soft back air. Yeah, soft back air. There you go. Yeah, shine was good. The L smash wouldn't have killed at that percent, so that was good. And then, yeah, the tech, and this, as Fed always talks about this DI not being good. Like, the DI when you're at that percent, to just, you just, it's a free L smash. So, goodbye, as Uh, all right. That's fat boys. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I agree. All right, Dreamland. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm okay. I guess I'm okay with it. I feel like Mango could even benefit from like a fountain. But I understand. Up smash. Okay, cool. So Mango finally converts off the up smash. So that's the thing, right? I don't think it, it, it matters. Though I'm actually not... I think maybe at the lower percents, maybe. Um, I don't know about the mid percents. 
But the lower percent, I guess. Um, if you can convert off it. Huh. It makes up his DI, too, it looks like. Because he converts off this up smash. So as long as you convert off your hit, I think it's fine. So cool. That's like that's decent percent, especially on a platform stage. Oh, maybe a force smash. Glitch. Mm hmm. I'm, that's how keeps uh, he have that of doing these bad, really shitty up smashes. <clears throat> All right, so Mango started to pick it up a little bit. He's looking pretty good. He won those interactions pretty cleanly, and like got a nice punish, which made the game a lot easier for him. Oh, that was awful. That was an awful drill. That was awful. So bad. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it should do it. Yeah, it should do it. Okay, so it doesn't get any mileage. So neither of them has really been able to, besides Mango, that one, you'll just throw a game. Okay, so exactly what you don't want, right? You don't want to come down from its ability and get, and get punished. So that's like the one of the, that's one of like two moves, maybe even three that like, there's like, you don't want to get hit by at zero. And then a smash. I mean, you'd be up there. Ooh, oh, this one, SS or Sprint didn't work. Yeah, I remember this combo. Oh, that Nair was fucking so smart. So let's actually rewatch Mango. Uh, where will we watch this? So Mango, like one of the best, better conversions. Gets the shield poke on his feet. Wave that. Yeah, that's sexy. So and then I think what really hurt Mango is that he missed. He missed so many techs. Missed the tech there. Missed the tech there. Missed this tech. Missed this tech. What actually I think is what um. Yeah, that was a big miss tech too. And then he was able. To, SAT was able because SAT was still. Even though Estat was um, late, he had more time, and Angle still had to get off the platform. So then catches him. It looks like he tried to shield drop, or just land, go underneath the platform. It's back here. Yeah. So good. So let's see if Estat gets any mileage off this, because both of them haven't done a very good job with that. Okay. So it gets a grab. Doesn't get anything off it. Goes for goes for the up air. Tries to bait something out after though. I don't mind. I'm not. I'm not mad at that for some reason, even though he didn't get anything. So, so Mango keeps trying to bait something out of S fat in these situations, um, but that's just kind of just standing still. So, uh, tries to crouch to get a attack. Look like both doing a lot of crouching. Mm-hmm. Reversal. So like I like I said, that happened on Yoshi's story too, right? This is another situation that happened on Yoshi's story where where Mango has S fat in the corner and then he overextends and then gets full hot punished for it and then gets put in the corner. Then does a really bad forward air. Mango's also picking really bad like picked a couple bad ledge options in a row. The forward air is just not that good. And then he's gonna die for it. S fat has to charge up for it, does a couple dash chances to get himself in the mood. <laughs> Bam. Okay, cool. So now this is a big lead. Even though I know it's a ditto, but th the way they've been going so back and forth, it's actually a huge lead. All right, so this should have been the end, but Mango chooses the Mango of all Mangos and lives a little to die another day. So dash dance grab, shine, and then the ultimate Mango. Beautiful angle here. Beautiful, beautiful angle. So that's that. Just had to stay on the ledge, actually. Because I think it's one of those things where the angle doesn't give him more distance. It just kind of does, like he can't go farther because of it. Uh, so he's still dead, uh, but it's hard to see that in the moment. <laughs> so he's still super dead. Like, like he can't recover. He's just too far. Yeah, like he's, he's actually could he recover? Never mind. He might have been able to. You know, actually, if he had just gone straight. Actually, would he be able to recover? Can he recover from this spot? I actually don't know now. That actually looks kind of doable. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm actually not confident. I'm actually not sure anymore. But I was going to see if anyone had anything to say. But yeah, he had to hold a ledge here. Mango is dead. Gets a nice tilt, though. Um, air dodge. And then, so goodbye, Mango. Crazy angle. Uh, made made S Fat have to work for it. And that's what the angle really did, right? It made S Fat have to, to make it a judgment call. Um, and even, like, 
so say say Mango did get back aired, right? He's gonna live from the back air. Uh, it just made Mango S Fat have to extend himself to cover more shit. Um, so that was really good by him. Obviously, S Fat could just tell the ledge, but it's hard to see, and and, and Mango's angle is really good, so it made it a lot harder than it needed to be. And from here, he actually starts to come back. So um, I think a lot of that had to do with closing the set out too. I mean, there's some nerves from you know closing a set out, so not too clean. So and then, okay, so I actually thought SI was gonna choke here. I actually thought SI was gonna choke here. Um, I'm gonna tell you why, because this is fucking awful. He comes up with a full hop there, trades. Uh, so I was starting to get nervous as an SFAT fan. I was like, I think he might throw it away. And and look at how tight Mango's dash dance is now. Look how tight that is. Super tight. Gets a dash dance grab. So Mango's tightened it up now. He's like, his adrenaline's pumping. He's like, oh shit, I, I was about to lose. Now I got a second chance at life. You know what I'm saying? All dogs go to heaven. You know, I get a second chance at life, make it right, make it for my mistakes. Okay, does a nice low. Uh, I don't know. So S Fat's starting to tense up a little bit too. And Mango's starting to be like really safe. So Mango stopped feeding S Fat too, right? So all it is is dash dance now. Dash dance, dash dance, dash dance. So the game's getting tighter and S Fat's trying to close it out. So, okay, so catches Mango coming forward finally. Which is important. Because when you have the lead, it's okay to get hits like this. It's like you're just trying to build damage. Though his Nair is super weak right now. Cause he, so that's the thing about stale moves, right? It's like a nair. It's like he's 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 been alive for so long. He's been alive for a while. So his nair is only at like eight percent. So not very strong anymore. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, Mango with the best ledge dash of his career into up smash. Okay. And then catches. Okay, cool. So this is like completely doable. It's a fox ditto. Though I wouldn't, it's it's more like I wouldn't be super confident. Oh, and then Mango picks the worst DI to just end the dream for all you Mango fans. He just fixed that. I think it's because he was in dash, too, so he's probably already holding that direction. He gets grabbed at zero, and then he just dies. S-Fat nods his head in approval, and they move on. <laughs>